What is up, you guys? Thanks for tuning in to another Spade Shades video. Um, in light of me not posting too much very frequently, I'm gonna kind of do something a little bit different that I haven't done yet. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna publish a few videos here within the next few hours of um, some deck reviews. Um, like I said, uh, I haven't really been posting a lot. If you haven't seen the video on my explanation about that, check it out right here. Um, and it'll kind of explain why, but you know, give it a short little five second thing. Uh, I'm working on improving the channel. So uh, I'm not going to be posting like, you know, um, cut tutorials or trick tutorials or anything f until I get my, um, until I get the updates and all that stuff finished. But I figured I'd give, I'd post a few deck reviews um, because they're short, quick, to the point, and um, they're pretty interesting. So I'm going to start with. Uh, some decks that I actually got today. Um, the first one is the Mystery Box Black Edition by Theory11 and JJ Abrams. Uh, when you get it, you can uh, you can find a link to buy it here. Okay, and I'll put that link up once again whenever I'm done reviewing it. But you can find a link here. Um, the uh, it comes in wrapped in like this hand, not handmade, but like I don't know. Um, like artisan um, wrapping paper, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it comes wrapped up in that, and you unfold it um, like so, and then you get the deck out of it. Okay. So it was created in um, um, collaboration with Theory 11, Bad Robot, the company Bad Robot. Um, I believe it's like a. I'm not really sure what, what they are, but. Um, I think it's like some sort of production company or something. I don't know, but and uh, and J.J. Abrams, uh, f really really famous producer. I think he uh, uh, produced uh, Star Trek. Um, but the box is in um, one of Theory 11's classic features with the embossed border, the embossed or embossed um, uh, tuck box. Um, even though it's not really exquisite, like you see, this is the only thing that's on there on the back. Uh, let me see if I can catch catch some light on it there we go um, on the back is just the back design um, but it is also embossed and um, um, risen from the uh, the rest of the um, the rest of the the uh, the box so it comes is very clean this is the black edition okay I'm gonna set that down um, it comes with two cards like this and uh, these cards on the back it says um, the other side of this card has a 3D anamorphic illusion visible through the lens of a camera. You cut out the shape, this white shape right here, or this gray shape on this one. Cut out the shape along the dotted lines. Hold the 3D card by the white surface at your fingertips. And with your camera, take a photo of the card from a very low front angle. There's a tutorial of how to do it at a website they provide you with and um, shows you how to do it and when you take the picture it looks like a 3D object is sitting on the surface of the card so pretty cool thing instead of instead of them coming with like a um, um, like a, a double sided card or whatever they come with something a little bit different but pretty cool um, I like that idea I've yet, I've yet to do it um, I may post a, a video later on if I, re, if I redo these um, this review or something and, and uh, show you what that looks like but Here's the deck. Here's the uh, the back design. Um, looking at it, I don't. I think I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is a two-way back. But there's your back design. Let's get a little right there. There's your back design. Very, very great back design. As you can see, the the fans on this deck look absolutely amazing because the borders, the white borders, are so thin. And uh, that's really what makes this deck stand out to me is because of because of the borders being so thin, um, fans look very very nice. Okay. Um, once again, there's another fan. Now, this um, your jokers are they're um, I don't know how I feel about the jokers to be honest with you. They're um, they're kind of um, just like the rest of this deck is reminiscent off of the robot theme. Um, but the Jokers, I'm just not a huge fan of the Jokers, to be honest with you. I just feel like they, I, I, I don't know. I mean, they they look nice, but I I don't personally like them. Um, but I can appreciate them from an artist, from a um, an art point of view. But um, here's your Ace of Spades. 
Um, the aces, it's normal pit placement, but the aces are the I'm sorry, the spades. Normal pit pip placement, but the spades have a um, more of a point at the tip of them, so they are they are a little a tad bit different. Um, your face cards, like I said, are um, reminiscent of the robot theme. Okay, um, so that that's kind of the theme they took with the deck, and I really wasn't expecting it because I didn't do a whole lot of research on the deck before I bought it. Just watched a few videos. Um, of like some some guys doing some some tricks and stuff with them just to, to get get a feel of what they look like when they're handled, and I, when I opened it I was pretty surprised, but um I really like it I really I really dig the uh, the robot theme on the cards. Um, here let me give you a close up of a face card right there. So they kind of follow that um, motif I guess. Um, King of Hearts. The King of Hearts is probably my favorite face card. Um, but it's just like that in any deck because there's so many different things that um, producers do with the whole Suicide King concept. Um, so, yeah, that is the um, the Mystery Box Black Edition by uh, oh gosh, J.J. Abrams and a uh, Bad Robot, uh, produced by Theory Eleven. Um, very nice deck. I would really suggest you getting it. Um, simply because it it's really an oh god I can't I can't get over how good the deck is okay um, if you're not crazy about the back design now one thing I will say when I got it and it may be um, just simply the way that it was stored when I got it there's a considerable um, divot in the cards like you can see whenever you whenever I spread the cards um, they kind of um, ripple um, and that comes from there being a bend in the deck in general. And that's one thing that I particularly don't really like um, in any of my decks because I feel like it just it just doesn't feel right in my hand. But um, I believe that was just simply for the way the deck was stored. Um, not properly or whatever. But it, it doesn't decrease the value of the deck or how good the deck is in my opinion. It's just a simple... Um, personal preference so if you're looking for a great deck I would highly suggest buying these the back design is fabulous the overall design of the face cards is great um, so yeah very interesting very cool deck I highly highly recommend it once again if you want a link to buy it you can find one right here on this little red little question mark that I will now hold face up and there you go thanks for watching guys